If you're an existing user or new, this tutorial will help you getting started on how to download stylus, how to download a style from userstyles.org, how to create a basic theme, how to import and export from both user styles and local, quick review of the options of stylus, and how to post your theme to userstyles.org. <laughs> So what is Stylus? Stylus is a fork of the popular Stylus extension which can be used to restyle the web. So Stylus can be found on addin.com. At the top right hand corner is for Google Chrome and Opera. I'm going to do my demonstration on Google Chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Google Chrome at the top right hand corner. So on the Google Chrome store we're going to click Stylus. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add to Chrome. Now I'm going to add extension. We're going to go ahead and go to userstyles.org. I am currently on my YouTube black and red, and I'm going to install with Stylus. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And now it is installed. So when I click on YouTube, it is now dark and red. At the top right hand corner, you can see that it is active, that there is one style active. We can click on this, and there's YouTube black and red. So we can disable it at any time. We can edit it and delete it. Now there is another way to import styles. So we're going to go ahead and delete this theme. We're going to go back to user styles and I'm going to click on show CSS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all this code right here. I'm going to hit copy. And now what I'm going to do is click on YouTube. I'm going to click on the top right hand corner where stylus is and I'm going to hit write style for YouTube. So now it says URL starting with YouTube. So now what I'm going to do is just type in demo. I'm going to import the code. I copy and paste. I'm going to hit overwrite style. So now my entire code is in here. Now YouTube should actually change when I hit save. And there it is. So let's have a quick look at the options that Stylus has to offer you. So let's go ahead, click top right, and I'm going to click on options. So we have UI customizations. We have badge background color, badge background color when disabled. We have pop-up width. Now that pop-up width is the width of this right here. Now the background and uh, the background color is this this little icon right here so we can change that to like I don't know let's try to pick green now it is green you can also um, check when updates are available you so to open up manage we're gonna click the stylus at the top and we're gonna click manage in here we can check for all updates we can write a new style we can show number of styles active uh, options UI same thing as before on the extensions right here we also have shortcuts right here add block hover zoom this is this all the extensions that are on my browser itself also find editor style so if you want to change the theme through a custom one that's on here you can do so we can also export styles and import styles so I'm going to show you how to do this um, since I have stylish with quite a few styles already in here I want to export all these and import it into stylus so what I'm going to do is I'm going to retrieve or back up all installed styles I'm gonna save this to the desktop now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import it into stylus and now they're all in here 17 of them to be exact so that means now that even user styles should be blue so if anything goes on with your extensions you can always export like so and import at any time that you want so I'm going to create a theme on Stylus's add-on website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the top right and I'm going to click on write a style for add-on this URL. So I'm going to move this to the left. I'm going to keep that to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this top bar black and I'm going to make this like a dark grayish. So I'm just going to show you the basics. I'm not going to show you everything. So I'm going to type in demo as an example. I'm going to hit save. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to inspect element. So I'm going to inspect element on this column on the bottom here. So I'm going to hover over the HTML to try to find column. So that didn't work out right. So I'm going to right click again. There we go. So we got content, content right here. It says background color and it's white. So let's change that to right about there. I think that looks really nice. So to keep this, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to copy it. You're going to have to paste it into your demo page 
and this is the most important thing is you actually have to use important if you don't do this then it's not going to override the uh, the original code so if you refresh the page then it's just going to be back to its white so you need to type in important like so so I'm going to hit save and hit control s to save you can do it from up here as well so now it will stay like this so if I hit refresh as you can see, it's permanently like that. I'm going to change this top part too. So let's change the top header. What is it here? Huh, that's interesting. Okay, so this is it at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this as well. And I'm just going to move it up here. Um, instead of using this background RGBA, I'm going to keep it as background, but I'm going to change it to be a black color. So I'm just going to remove that. I'm just going to remove the color as background, and I'm going to change this as black. Now, if you're not really quite sure what to do, you can always use the coding in here or look online. You want to type in BA, as you see, it shows background, so it can help you out a lot. So this is pretty much it. So I'm going to do this style, and I'll get back to you. For the next part i'm not an expert by any means but if you take a look we have font color white gray header background and border so now as you can see my code looks nice and neat uh if you want to use like example border color as one primary color you can do so all you just have to do is put commas here to separate your code there is an app i will explain a little bit more about this at the end of the video if you want to learn a little more about it keep an eye at the end of the video all right so i made my theme um i'm gonna leave it like that if you take a look here uh just kind of show you the code here kind of give you a rough idea what i did this here is actually the top for this page if i would have added it to uh the main home page here it would have just went black so i didn't and i put on a separate page so it wouldn't affect this all right so the next step is take a screenshot get ready for upload so the browser is in full screen i'm going to use snake it to take a screenshot remove it on a full screen. All right, so I'm gonna save this screenshot to the desktop. I'm gonna call it one. All right, so I saved my screenshot to the desktop. Unfortunately, it is past the uh, amount that I'm allowed. All right, so now I'm ready to upload this to user styles for everybody to download it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on create a new style. I'm gonna name it this, and I'll give it a brief description. All right, so I gave it a brief description. Uh, I typically use this for my updates all the time. For the CSS, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to hit export, copy it, paste it in here. Now, you got to make sure that your code is good to go. If it is broken, it should look like something like this. Uh, you got to make sure that your code is fixed or it won't allow you to post. All right, so what I'm going to do, I had to downsize, so I'm just going to put my picture in here and in here. I'm just going to call this number one. You can name it whatever the heck you want and click save. There we go. So we got add-on in here now, so you can download the code. I'll just show it to you show CSS so that's pretty much it for that so some time ago I found an app called memo uh, it's kind of cool it can teach you how to uh, code with CSS uh, it shows you like selectors it shows you properties boxes layouts special selectors and uh, quite a few others and it'll give you a crash course uh, wh on what you learn you do have to pay a premium if you want to learn more and uh, learn more about uh, what CSS does I'll be putting stylish in the description and if anybody has any issues with it uh, you just go to their website and just tell them about the bugs or issues that uh, you're having if you have a question for me just put it in the description there and i'll try to answer it as best as possible hopefully this video is a lot more clear compared to the one i did a couple of years ago which was uh extremely hard to see and very confusing if it if it does help you out uh please do share it with others that may have issues as well but anyways i'm gonna let you guys go uh please do rate subscribe and i'll see you in the next one